Angola is one of the world's top oil producers. That can be both a blessing and a disadvantage, depending on the global energy markets. That's why Angola is pushing to diversify its economy, attracting and courting international investment in order to expand to other sectors. Which ones? Let's take a closer look in this edition of Business Angola. First, we check out LP Electronica near the capital Luanda, with a new factory assembling mobile phones. With parts from China, final assembly takes place here, piecing them together, testing them for performance, and cleaning them before packaging. More than 70% of the population cannot afford to have a smartphone. So we designed this phone for this niche of market. LP Electronica is family-owned with a private equity stake. Its edge over international competitors, a 3% tariff on parts instead of 23% on fully assembled phones. This allows us to have a very nice price and compete in the market. The company expects to produce 30,000 units per month this year with plans for smartphones and TVs. It also provides jobs to 180 Angolans like Elisette. I think it is a very big challenge. I'm very happy to be part of that. And I think you can make a big difference in our country and our generation. There are plenty of other examples for investors, says the head of the business association, Seya. What are some of the sectors that offer the most opportunity for an investor? If you are investing in agriculture and also in, in, in industry, processing industry, can be a, a, a good opportunity for, for business and also for in the future for exporting. And less than 20 years after a civil war, there's still much to do. We have to, 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 to rebuild everything, uh, uh, rebuild our roads and uh, energy and water system. Angola was one of Africa's bread baskets and it's coming back. Outside Luanda, Fazenda Girasol sells 60 different fruits and vegetables, growing them and buying from other farmers. In one of its greenhouses, the company grows cucumbers using drip irrigation. There are some sensors to regulate the mix of purified water and nutrients. There are three generations of cucumbers here. These are the seedlings. These are the mid-size, where they're constantly monitoring the moisture and the light. And these are the full-size, ready for harvest. We are different because we use technologies from around the world to get the quality the market needs, not just national, but also the international market. Our first goal is to supply the local national market, then as we grow to supply the international market. Girasol has more than 1,100 employees here and on a larger farm in the countryside. The crops are cleaned and packaged for supermarkets, restaurants, and airline catering. You can also order online for home delivery. Angola Diversifying, right to your door. That's all for now on Business Angola. From all of us here on the Euronews team, we say obrigado, thanks for watching, and see you next time.